Greetings to you, my dear people. I hope that you're fine wherever you are. How are you? How am I? I'm fine, as you can see. I thank God, uh, irrespective of the challenge that I'm facing now. We don't have electricity. But I hope, I'm so optimistic that we're going to be sorted soon by our government. So that is it. So my people, do you know where our travel beauty is at? Yay! She is in Jamaica. Dimwango is in Jamaica. Yes, that is where she is. After leaving St. Vincent, she went back to Jamaica. Oh my girl, this girl is something else. When she talks about her love for Jamaica, hey, I agree that Dimwango really loves Jamaica. How many times have we seen her going to Jamaica? Hey! How many times? Every time she's going back to Jamaica. Every time she's going back to Trench Town, which is in Kingston. Every time she's going back there. And of course, when she arrived at the airport, she was received by her friend Esther Campbell. Hey, the name says today are just going to die. Mm -mm -mm. They're going to die of envious, or I don't know whether they're jealousy or whatever they are. They are going to die of it. They had started a propaganda. If you have actually been following news on the white streets, they had started a narrative. Back then, they were saying that Esther and Di Mwango have fallen out. Do you get the tingo? Do you get the gist? Hey! That they have fallen out. Hey! hey. Let me laugh. <laughs> Is that one like a Japanese or what? She, ching chong, ching chong. Hey, guys. There are, there are so many things that you learn when you just start doing this creation. So forget about that. That was just a by the way. They had started a narrative that Esther and Dee were no longer friends. Hey, but who is God? Who is God? God is not your sister. God is not your brother. God is not who you think he is. God is God. Dee Mwango is in Jamaica. And she's with Esther. Where is she staying? Mm. Where is she staying? She is staying in Esther's house. By the way, Dimango made it very clear that she's going to be in Jamaica for a short time as she's working on something. Do you get the tingle? Mm? But there I have a cup of tea. But it's very hot. <laughs> I just feel like I just want to sip it. But why? It's very hot. Let me just let it be for a moment. I'm just from work. Okay, so that is it. Dimango said that she's going to stay in Jamaica for a short time as she keeps on touring the Caribbean. Where is Shen? Of course, we expect the naysayers to come out with their own narratives and all that. And I've always told you, if you're my diehard fan, I've always told you that these naysayers, hey, they can create stories, turn them and twist them until you think that it is true. But the truth is, they are now back in Jamaica. Where can Shen be? Shen cannot be in Trench Town. Guys, come on. Hello. Are we together? Shen comes from Portland. He's now back to Portland, minding his own business. So we don't know whether they are going to go on with their travels or not. Our work is just to sit and wait. But personally, personally, I can't wait for the next adventure. Because through the eyes or the lenses of Dimwango. I have been able to learn about countries that I never knew existed in the Caribbean. Hey, like Grenada. Mm -mm. St. Vincent. Uh -uh. I've also learned we have a country that is called St. Lu Lucia. Is it Lucia or, Rus or Lucia? So please, I don't know which is which, but I know you get the tingle, you get the gist. If it was not for Dimwango, I would never ever have imagined of such places. And that is why I say I can't wait for the next adventure. So my people, we can all agree that Dimwango and Esther Campbell are like this. Do you see my fingers? They are like this. <laughs> so guys, let me tell you something. I forgot to tell you, this is a reaction channel. And if this is not your cup of tea move on to the next video or the next channel rather the next channel there's someone who came out to insult me hey please keep your own insults because i'll never insult you back mm -mm. 
we are spreading love and positivity it is all about love and positivity so our girl is out there in jamaica having some good time what is new she has started her gym classes we saw her going to the gym and i know her she is going to <clears throat> to attain her goal of having those muscles that she wants and of course in the right place so i can't wait and actually i wish her all the best i wish her all the best if that is what she wants we all have our own choices we all have our own preferences we all have our own desires so i wish the mango all the best so my guys ahead ahead we go there's this issue that is uh, that has been on the white streets for a long time around two days actually i've not talked about it because i've been trying to think because i don't know the direction of this talk so we have this couple the guy comes from kenya and the lady comes from german the guy is called vin and the lady is called lenny so um vin and lenny met in kenya lenny is from germany i hope you've gotten that and then vin is a kenyan man so when they met in kenya they eventually started dating and got married in other words they are married they are married hey i want to say married hey my mother tongue leave me alone oh don't embarrass me so they got married and they have been staying just doing their own stuff charity work and all that and news has it on the white streets that this couple has separated we don't know we are not sure and the reason is because none of them has come out publicly to talk about the separation what i know is that lenny is in germany with her family and vin is in kenya so what i always want to do in my channel is this just to sit and wait and just look at what is happening and wait for the outcome because we are not sure whether these people have separated or not and we may be running our mouths in white streets just to be ashamed i saw the naysayers uh talking about this i saw the naysayers uh, saying that uh lenny uh, you know like lenny has been living a, a kind of lifestyle that is not of her class you know she comes from germany she's a mzungu or vin has been controlling the finances by the way their youtube channel is doing well i saw uh, the news is that lenny has been con uh, not learning vin has been controlling the finances and lenny did not have a say i don't know we don't know and the reason is because none of them has come out to publicly state what is happening in this relationship that is it that is it and this being a couple whether it is an uh we call them what interracial this is an interracial couple that does not mean that they cannot separate that does not mean that they don't have their own wrangles that does not mean that they you know they cannot disagree of course they are human beings before even the color of the skin they are human beings and because they are human beings they are prone to make mistakes you know just like any other normal uh, couple and what we should do is just to sit and be patient and wait to hear from them some of them are some of the naysayers are saying that vin is a womanizer and actually eh, let me whisper this and actually there is one who came out and said that vin could be could be of the rainbow colors you get what i mean could be of the rainbow colors i am not against any kind of orientation you know the orientation that i'm talking about because i don't want my 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 video not to be monetized guys i'm not against any orientation mary says that we all have the freedom to do our own choices what you prefer that is up to you so there are those who have come out you know uh, they have just gone to the um, insta page of vin brought uh, photos of him and they are now whispering that vin could be of the rainbow color and because he's of the rainbow color, then Lenny maybe discovered and then she decided to run away. Hey, which is which? Me, I don't know. We are just sitting here and hoping for the best. Let us just hope for the best. But as much as you may have those, you know, ish, ish, the red flags, like we saw when Lenny went back to Germany, she opened her YouTube channel. And again, it could be cloud chasing. These are content creators. It could be cloud chasing. We are not sure. 
we should just wait and see what is taking place so guys what do you think about this what do you think about this i'd love to hear your honest opinion what do you think about this apart from that let's go and talk about chris chris yesterday did a live but then i watched the live from the start up to the end and my takeaway because when you watch something you need a takeaway my takeaway is this when chris was given back his passport the first time he was arrested he decided not to get out of training because he knew that whatever he, he is being accused of is a serious crime and there is no way he could go on to other countries and get entry do you get the tingle there is no way like he would come from trini go to another country the moment you just get to the airport he would be sent back to trini and him being smart and intelligent he opted to stay in trini so that is my main takeaway i saw people coming out to talk about uh, the way he's arrogant yes he may be arrogant but what do you expect when you are doing a live stream sometimes people can can make your blood to run very fast in fact your blood pressure to go high just by dropping comments here and there sometimes like you just see a person coming to insult you as if they know you uh, or as if they never meet you they are hiding behind this you know uh, these pseudo accounts pet names and all that so chris was kind of arrogant because of what people were commenting but deep when you look at it deeply with a keen eye you are going to see this is a man that is stressed depressed this is a man that is frustrated he is not sure of what is going to happen after august he is not sure this is a man that has just some little hope you know just clinging on life just clinging you know like when you when maybe you want to drown and you you just see some stray some uh, stray of grass and you hold and you know the way it is so dangerous like you can you can just hold and then it breaks and you get inside the water that is the situation that chris is in and it is good because when he did the live stream he was informing his people of what is happening so my people that is the tingle that i have for you today what do you think about this video please give it a thumbs up hey thumbs up don't forget to watch the ads up to the end it means the world to me how else can you support me as a content creator just watch the ads up to the end if you'd like to join my membership please do so you can do that check on the uh, on the package decide on what is uh, pocket friendly for you and uh, join the membership for exclusive packs thank you so much and goodbye for now